And now, at 11, after last night's revelry got out of hand, officers say they will return to the UD campus tomorrow night with added patrols. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Katie Houston. At a news conference tonight, Dayton police said they just want to prevent this to in, in any other type of behavior that will give the UD campus another black eye. Kelly King is live on the University of Dayton's campus to explain. Right now, UD's campus is pretty quiet as compared to last night. In fact, last night, at least six different jurisdictions joined UD police in helping keep celebrations safe. And about 5 o'clock, Dayton police started walking the streets, talking with students, even watching the game with some of them, just to let them know that they'll be watching. And tomorrow, police presence will be stepped up with OSP troopers joining the force. From revelry to devilry, Dayton police say they have a strategic plan in place to prevent chaos like this from erupting when the Flyers take on the Florida Gators Saturday. Last night was far more problematic than uh, last weekend. So that's not promising in terms of uh, the, the kind of behavior we're encountering and the fact that it's becoming more severe in some cases. That's why UD police, Dayton, and other jurisdictions once again will have an added police presence on campus. Dayton police say 27 people, including 13 UD students, were arrested Thursday night when the Flyers secured a spot in the Elite Eight. Elite eight. Elite eight. Mobs of people swarmed Keith Aber Street, inciting fights and causing riot officers to move in. Five officers were injured in the melee, some of them punched in the face, others attacked with beer bottles. Having police officers injured, that's a big deal for me. This video captured by Dayton Police shows our two news photographer clinging to our live truck as some in the crowd use their force to rock the vehicle. Nearby, a surge of people threw punches and viciously stomped a person. Victory flags soared in the sky along with beer bottles and cans launched into the crowd. All of the alcohol containers, it was unbelievable. At one point, fireworks were even set off within the crowd and a roof collapsed with the weight of celebrating students. While a number of people were unruly, police say most were celebrating responsibly. There were literally hundreds of individuals there, both students and non-students, as a part of this spontaneous celebration who were orderly, who were respectful, who were there just to enjoy this as a celebration. A hope that Dayton police also have for the next time around. Come to Dayton, have a great time, hopefully celebrate another victory, but do it in a way that's lawful and respectful of the rights of others. Now, Chief Beal also told me that his officers consult with other departments across the country for tactical plans for situations like this. In fact, he just met with an academic expert today who deals with student parties that get out of hand. He wants to invite her back to University of Dayton to meet with officials to work on strategic plans for situations like this. For now, reporting live from the University of Dayton campus, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.